today we've got Jack here. Jack is a scientist and um, so we are trying to work out a few things and at the same time he's going to help my gang. In traditional golf, the average score has been around 100 for the last 100 years and the culprit is this finger grip of the right hand or two axes. This is an axis, this is an axis. And you have four levers. This is a lever, this is a lever, your palm's a lever, and the club's a lever. So you got two axes and four levers. So when you set up to swing at the ball, you've got an angle here. You see, you've got an angle. So now, when you come to impact, that has to straighten. So if you start here and this straightens, you must raise up and move away from the ball. The way it's actually done is this hip will spin open, this leg will open, and you'll make this motion in a traditional golf swing so that you can let this straighten without going into the ground. If you don't do this, you're just putting the club in the ground. If you do this, now you can keep putting the club in the ground. So one of the motions you have to do so, is so, this motion so here. We talk about teaching a beginner. Do we have to survive physically, ask them to, to do this, or let the hand to control the pivot? You physically have to ask them to do that, otherwise club's going in the ground. And after they throw the club in the ground 10, 12, 15 times, they'll learn to do it instinctively. Is just raise up, because it hurts to throw the club in the ground. So now, let's go on with the next that. So now we've got two axes and four levers. When you start this club down, your shoulders are gonna be spinning on this plane. The arm is gonna be moving on the second plane. The hand will be rotating inside that plane. Because you have two axes, the club head is out here on the fourth plane, and the club face is rotating out on the fifth plane. So what you're having to do is five simultaneous rotary motions on five different planes, all spinning up and away from the ball, to, to keep hitting it on the ground. And that motion is simply too complex. If you're going to make the golf swing easier, you've got to take this two axis and make it into a single axis. You've got to have a hand. No scientist would ever give you something and say, now go hit something with power and accuracy when you got two axes. He's going to give so you a single axis. So the microbe is pretty okay because it's actually got power too. So now what we're going to do is learn to swing with a single axis. So you see, once I set up with a single axis, if I choose to, I could actually take this back on a single plane. Because that's weak and ineffective. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to teach you to take it up here where you want it to be. Just like you're holding a baseball bat so you can swing those arms. And now when I come down to this position though, all I have to do is straighten my arm and the club face is automatically straight. There is only one motion that's necessary in any golf swing. And this one motion every person makes in a golf swing, no matter who they are and what kind of swing they make. I've seen, seen and that is things. when you start down, when you reach this point in the downswing with your right arm, the hand will go this way. You will come to the back of the ball and the hand will continue to rotate. There are no exceptions to that. Everyone who hits good golf shots makes that motion with their right arm. The worst mechanics in the history of golf belongs to Jim Furyk. Jim Furyk puts his body <laughs> in every disadvantaged position a human can put it in and still became a great tour player and won major championships. What Jim Furyk did, he double overlaps his fingers, he starts the club here, Yep. He then does this with his body, and from this position right here, his right arm will come here, and then will make that turnover position. So Jim Furyk gets his body in this position to make this motion with his this arm. This compensated stroke, basically. So what he's done is put his body in the most disadvantaged position a human can, but he still makes the only necessary motion, and because he can reproduce that, he can play at the level he does. Now, Mo Norman had the only perfect mechanics in golf, and Mo Norman made it from right there. Now, would you rather be standing here hitting the ball, or like this hitting the ball? But the choices are simple. Conventional <laughs> golf, when people look at all these pictures, we all think they're going to hit the ball like this. So now what we want to do is learn how to make the only necessary motion. We're going to come right here, we're going to take this arm back and down, we're going to hit the golf ball. As soon as you can make that motion with your right arm, you have perfect mechanics. When you sound good mechanics, okay mechanics, you have perfect mechanics. The golf swing is nothing but learning to make the right hand once you're at this point in the downswing. Now, if you want to be John Daly and take it to here, that's fine, but it only starts once you get here. Whatever you're doing back here, around here, doesn't matter. So when you're right there in the downswing, the club will go this way, and you'll turn that hand over. As soon as you can do that, you're golfing. Everything else in your golf swing is to support that motion in your right.
Sit now. Stop spinning your feet around. Just keep your feet still. There we go. See the hand turnover? You that part because when you throw a punch, this is a natural rotation. This is unnatural. This is natural. It's the way the anatomy is. The anatomy is set up to do that. So if you don't fight your anatomy, you will get the turnover. So if I'm doing that, I would hit like monoman. Yes. Huh. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and hit 10 balls. But monoman hasn't got his own equipment. So if he, if he, if he, did you give him a second? Well, if he had this equipment, he'd been way better. Go ahead. So now take your left hand off. And now simply take the club back to that first position. Now hit the ball from right there. Good. Don't try to hit it hard. Just nice and slow and easy. Just try to hit the ball. Easy. Perfect. So you did a perfect swing on the first. Second ball, the first swing you missed it totally. Second swing, you had a perfect swing. It's not bad. I only got IQ of 96. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I only expect you to hit two of these out of these first ten. You've hit the second one perfect. And so now we want to do 10 balls. So I'm a fast slow down. Okay. I listen. Okay. So it'd be like this, and then just hammer it. Yes. But get that elbow back as far as it'll go. Okay. Right elbow back as far as it'll go. You didn't take the right elbow back far enough. You stop right in here. I want that elbow all the way back. Okay. As far back as it'll so go. So it's not a bad one. It's the second one. That, that second one was a good hit. Okay. So, right. Elbow so back as far as right there. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Just pull the elbow back as far as it'll go, cock the right hand, now hit the ball. <clears throat> now, you wanted to hit it harder. Right. We're not after hitting anything hard. Right. We're only after learning to make Punch the hand it. do this motion. Slow it down at least 30 to 40 percent. So and focus like this, right no. there. There. That's all we're after is, is teaching the hand to do that. So don't teach your hand to do this. Exactly. So now we've hit four balls and you've actually hit three I'm sorry okay now that one went left I want you to throw 10 degrees out and when you throw 10 degrees out this is one thing that Homer Kelly actually had correct <laughs> now when you contact the ball here the club face during this next part of second will turn like this but Jack there is a this is impact that... this is separation the ball's going that way you want to swing 10 degrees outward because of the rotation of the club to make a ball go straight. So you're going to swing this way, but the ball is going that way. And so his impact separation drawings were very good. Because, in fact, you've got a lot of things correct. Uh, not many. <laughs> i got to show you the book. Okay.